It's the Lakes Area's Most Wanted. We are cleaning up the criminals in our area and need your help. Have you seen any of these people? Troy Michael Windish, age 47. He's six feet tall, 195 pounds with hazel eyes and brown hair. He's wanted for gross misdemeanor possession of big game out of season. Michael Paul Weaver, age 48. He's 5 feet, 9 inches tall, 170 pounds with brown eyes and black hair. He's wanted for second degree DWI, refusal to test. Stephen Larry Wasik, age 49. He's 5 feet, 11 inches tall, 175 pounds with hazel eyes and brown hair. He's wanted for gross misdemeanor traffic violations. Andrew Charles Reddick, age 26. He's six feet tall, 185 pounds, with brown eyes and black hair. He's wanted for felony possession of meth and misdemeanor traffic violations. Justin Ray Peterson, age 25. He's five feet eight inches tall, 150 pounds with blue eyes and brown hair. He's wanted for gross misdemeanor third degree DWI. Joel Lynn Fogg age 44. He's a white male, 5 feet 7 inches tall, 160 pounds with blue eyes and brown hair. He's wanted for misdemeanor driving after revocation and misdemeanor property damage. Marty Ray Sullinger, age 51. He's 5 feet 8 inches tall, 185 pounds with blue eyes and blonde hair. He's wanted for gross misdemeanor and third degree DWI. Eric Justin Score, age 20. He's six feet tall, 160 pounds with hazel eyes and blonde hair. He's wanted for misdemeanor fourth degree DWI. Kayla May Schultz, age 20. She's five feet tall, 130 pounds with brown eyes and brown hair. She has two warrants for misdemeanor underage liquor consumption. Bradley Dent James Moore, age 33. He's six feet tall, 185 pounds with blue eyes and brown hair. He's wanted for gross misdemeanor theft and gross misdemeanor theft by issue of worthless check. Jacob Peter Bachman, age 25. He's five feet, 11 inches tall. 155 pounds with blue eyes and brown hair. He's wanted for felony possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The Lakes Area's Most Wanted. We're cleaning up the streets. Remember, if you see any of these people, do not approach them. Call your local law enforcement office. And now, a word from our area law enforcement. Um, my name is Tammy, and you are in the Becker County um, Dispatch Center, Communication Center. Um, what we do here is a variety of things. Um, we have uh, our radio is at this, this screen. This is our radio. We dispatch all the ambulances, rescue, fire off of here. And um, then we talk to all our officers, and we also have a channel to talk with the tribal officers. We can talk to other counties, even through our radio. Um, we have different uh, towers that we can do that on. We open a lot of doors in the secure building from this radio and are able to talk throughout the building to different parts of the building through an intercom. Uh, most of all our dispatching is done through radio. Um, we have uh, our CAD screen is where we, when we take a phone call, we will get the person's name, we start the call, we'll put it down, get their, the type of call it is, a location of the call, and then we get um, brief de details of the call, and then we'll give it to an officer and create it and then we send it out to the officer via the radio. 
Um, we keep track over here of all the officers that are on and where they're at in the county. And right now we have officers out in all parts of our county and there's some out in different counties that we don't monitor, but White Earth, uh, the tribal police up there, they do monitor. Um, over here we have, uh, this is a uh, state computer. It's uh, the portals computer where you will, you run people's driver's license, their license plates on their cars. A lot of times that'll be done through um, for when people are stopped on a, a normal routine traffic stop. And if people have warrants and stuff, we can communicate anywhere in the state or actually in the country through our portal system. And we do that um, often. We, when we, sometimes we have to go out of state and pick people up. And when we do, uh, the quickest in way to get through to somebody is just send a, we call it a teletype, and it's uh, kind of like an email. Just send it through the portal system right to that state and that county. We keep track of all of our people we've come in contact with over here. So the smart system um, is actually the CAD and the RMS. They go together. Um, we share it with different uh, agencies in the county so we can all put everybody we have contact with so we have a good database on people we deal with and especially the repeat offenders. Um, over here we've got our 911 screen. Whenever somebody calls in a 911 call, it'll show up here. And when it does, what you get is, I'll pull one up here. This is a, there we go. This would be a cell phone call that came in uh, this morning at 225 and it'll show you different uh, things on the call, uh, the phone number, and then we can, if it's not for our county or if it's for the state patrol, we can transfer it to different counties and state patrol. So we do that a lot and we can keep people on the phone as long as we need to if we don't get cut off for another reason. And we like to do that is keep them on the phone until we know that they're safe and that there's no, um, nothing happening to them that we can't control from this end. So we do that and then when the call comes up, it'll map over on this screen most of the calls will. Uh, right now our, our wireless calls don't always map over here without um, us manually putting them in. But anything that has that comes from a, a landline, which is a, a phone, a hard line, into your home, that should map on here as long um, as, long as it's not a, a brand new number, 911 number in the county. Thank you for watching the Lakes Area's Most Wanted. 